Yes, women will tell you they don't care about these insecurities, but yo, we aren't crazy. We aren't making up these insecurities in our head just willy-nilly. No, 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 no. These insecurities are up here for a reason. It's because, yo, women, they actually do care about this stuff. Let's hop into this. Number one, your follower count. And by follower count, count I want this to be an umbrella term. This could be your clout level, uh, your connection level, your social circle, how popular you are in school, your actual follower count on social media accounts. This matters, even though you'll hear so many girls tell you, oh, I like guys that are to themselves. Oh, I like guys that don't have a lot of followers, that don't talk to a lot of girls on Instagram. I like guys that aren't active on Instagram. BS. It's BS. Women want men that are actually wanted because they want to feel like they want something. And something that'll give the woman the ick, which you've heard, quick, is the feeling of knowing that her guy is a guy that nobody wants. Look. When you're not in a relationship, you're not committed, yo, you should not put all your focus on one girl. You should be out here networking. Networking. That's what we're calling it nowadays. We're networking. Number two, your height. Yo, look, they care. They care. And it's messed up because it's the one thing they don't care that, that you can't control. Look, if they cared about our weight, yo, that'd be cool, right? Because, yo, we can hit the gym. We can get jacked. We can make a difference. But caring about your height... This one's messed up. This is why I've always told you boys. You need, to, you need to learn how to dress appropriately so you always look taller. You look like you're lengthening your frame. The easiest way to do this is by wearing monochromatic fits. I do this all the time. Look, I do this just, I do this without even thinking just because I know it always looks better. When you wear monochromatic fits, not only is it easier to get dressed in the morning, but you always will look taller, leaner, more elegant, which is this is something that's going to make you look more attractive. There's also other things you can do like always stand tall, which I've showed you before. You're probably robbing yourself of one to two inches just by hunching over, wearing thicker shoes, which are, are in style now. You can also adopt a hairstyle with a little bit more volume, which could easily add one to two inches to your height. These are subtle things you can do because ultimately this is what women care about. Women just want you to be slightly taller than them. They don't want you to be freaking basketball players. They just want you to be slightly taller than them, which that, that's easy to do. Number three, your receding hairline. Look, too many guys in their mid-20s, early 30s are already seeing their hairline start receding and that's a killer of confidence. And this is normal. Two in three men will experience some sort of hair loss by the time that they're 35. So you are not alone. It's, it's just in our genetics. Now, what's not normal is not doing anything about it. See, when you're part of the family, you know you can actually take action, especially with our sponsor Keeps. See, if you decide to hop on Keeps early, like as soon as you see the early signs of hair loss, You'll actually keep more of your hair, especially more than your friends will do. Because the problem with previous generations like our fathers, our uncles, our grandparents, they did nothing about it. Once they started seeing their hairline receding, they thought, well, it's normal. And then they just let it take its course, mainly because it was a pain in the butt. You'd have to make an appointment. You'd have to schedule a visit with the doctor, then go to the doctor's office and have this conversation. Then they would do a prescription. Then you would have to, the, have to go pick up the medication. Who would want to do all that? You'd, most men would just rather go bald. But with Keeps, they're revolutionizing the way men treat hair loss because they're doing it so you can do it from the comfort of your home completely over your laptop or computer. The best part is with Keeps, they're offering you the two only FDA generic medications that have been scientifically proven to stop and in some cases regrow some of that lost hair that you've had. And don't just take my word for it. Look, go to keeps.com slash TMF or click the link down below to check them out. See the before and afters. Yo, they're insane. You'll see most of these guys stopping hair loss and in cases regrowing some of that lost hair. This is why they have more five-star reviews than any of their competitors. Boys, if you want to make a difference, if you're seeing even the smallest signs of hair loss, go to Keeps.com right now. The link will be down below. Keeps.com slash TMF. They have a special offer just for you guys where, where you can now just go online, have that consultation with a U.S. licensed physician, and see what your status is. You can get prescribed easily online, and everything gets delivered to your door hassle-free. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be linked down below. Number four, your gut. Look, surprisingly, this one's slightly in our heads, where most men over-obsess over having a six-pack and looking chiseled. This, you're putting a little bit too much effort in. See, most women don't want this. Most women just want a man that's healthy, a man that takes care of himself. And having a slight gut, it's actually not a bad thing. Most women want a little cushion. For the pushing. So you do want to be jacking the arms and the chest, but just a little, a little bit of blubber here. It's not a bad thing. So if you have a two-pack or a four-pack, yo, you're good. Five, 
you always pay. I've said this once, I'll say it again. If you're the one that invited the girl out, you pay. It's on your bill, it's your dime, you asked her out. She came out because you asked her, right? That's my philosophy. However, however, you should not be the dude paying all the time. See, for the most part, I like to pay. I always pay. That's just how I've always been, especially when I'm with, with a girl. The difference is though, if you're with a specific girl and you've been on um, three dates, four dates, now it's been 10 dates, shoot, it's been half a year now, and she's never even made the slightest hint at like, yo, let me take this bill. Like, yo, let me take you out. Let me pay for something. If, you, if she's never even hinted at this, massive red flag, get out. And finally, number six, the size of your Johnson tip. Look, this male insecurity, it, it kind of is in our heads, but it kind of isn't. Like, look, size does matter to a certain extent. However, boys, you do need to understand something. The average size is about five inches. Unless this chick has experienced an entire football team, she's probably never seen more than six inches in her entire life. And if she has, um, sucks for you, probably look for somebody else. But if you're at an average size, you got nothing to worry about. And if you're below average, well, you just, you just gotta learn new tricks in the bedroom, that's it. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Keeps. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.